A dental hygienist is a licensed professional that focuses on promoting oral health. In this video, we're gonna go over what dental hygienists do, the job market for dental hygienists, how much money they make, and at the end of the video, we will go over the top five highest paying metro areas for dental hygienists. Coming up. Hey everybody, my name is Stephen Hack, and this is Career Watch, a YouTube channel focused on bringing you the latest, most up-to-date statistics on different careers. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. And if you enjoy this video, hit that like button to support this channel. Dental hygienists examine patients for signs of oral diseases such as gingivitis, and they recommend preventive care. During a routine visit, a dental hygienist will remove tartar, stains, and plaque from a patient's teeth. After a cleaning, they sometimes will apply sealants and fluorides to help protect teeth and enamel. Periodically, dental hygienists will take and develop x-rays for the leading dentist. After a session with the patient, a dental hygienist will report their findings to the dentist. Dental hygienists will also educate patients on proper oral hygiene. Dental hygienists have the option of working part-time. Many will actually work part-time for a couple different dentists. Next, let's take a look at the job market for dental hygienists. Over the past 20 years, they have seen pretty solid job growth. In the year 1999, there were 90,050 dental hygienist jobs. By 2018, the government recorded 215,150 jobs for dental hygienists. So over this 20 year time period, dental hygienists gained 125,100 jobs. This is an extremely stable profession. Unlike other occupations, there was no job losses during the Great Recession, which took place between 2007 and 2009. There were also no job losses during the dot-com bust in the late 90s. The number of dental hygienist jobs has dramatically increased over the past 20 years. In just 20 years, the number of jobs has more than doubled. The question is, will this continue? Next, let's take a look at the government forecast for dental hygienists over the next 10 years. This probably isn't surprising, but the government is very optimistic. The government is estimating a job gain of 11% or 24,000 jobs for dental hygienists from 2018 to 2028. The average occupation, on the other hand, is expected to rise by only 5%. Next, let's take a look at what dental hygienists earn nationally. In 1999, the average dental hygienist was making, on average, $48,150. By the year 2018, this average wage had risen to $75,500. So wages rose for dental hygienists by $27,350 over a period of 20 years. Finally, let's explore which metro areas pay dental hygienists the most money. The average wage is about $75,000, but some areas of the country actually pay much more than this. So here are the top five highest paying metro areas for dental hygienists, and you're definitely gonna see a certain theme on this list. The fifth highest paying metro area for dental hygienists is the Santa Rosa, California metro area, where the average wage is $108,010. The fourth highest paying metro area for dental hygienists is the San Francisco, California metro area, where the average wage is $109,750. The third highest paying metro area for dental hygienists is the Anchorage, Alaska metro area. The average wage in Anchorage is $110,800. The second highest paying metro area for dental hygienists is the San Jose, California metro area, where the average wage is $112,210. And the highest paying metro area for dental hygienists is the Fairbanks, Alaska metro area. I actually had to look up where this place is. It is located pretty far north of Anchorage. In Fairbanks, the average wage is $113,190. It appears the best paying metro areas for dental hygienists are all located on the West Coast, specifically in California and Alaska. Are you interested in becoming a dental hygienist? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.